Have you ever wondered how you can rotate, scale, skew, or move elements on your web pages with just a few lines of code? What's the secret to creating smooth and responsive animations? How can you change the layout of your web pages with simple CSS? If you have these questions, you're in the right place. Welcome to CSS Nippets. I'm Chandni. In today's video, I'll explain the CSS Transform property. Let's get started. Rotate. The CSS Transform Rotate property allows you to rotate an element around a fixed point. You can specify the rotation angle in degrees, radians, gradients, or turns. There are essentially five different variants of the Rotate function. Besides the basic Rotate property, CSS also offers Rotate X, Rotate Y, and Rotate Z for more specific rotations, as well as Rotate 3D for 3D transformations. Positive values rotate the element clockwise. For example, rotate 45 degrees will rotate the element 45 degrees clockwise from its original position. Negative values rotate the element counterclockwise. For example, rotate negative 45 degrees will rotate the element 45 degrees counterclockwise from its original position. For smooth movement, you can use the transition property. If you want to learn more about this property in depth, check out our video. Click on the I button or check the link in the description. When you use Rotate X, the element rotate around the x-axis. Positive values rotate the element clockwise around the x-axis, and negative values rotate it counterclockwise. When you use Rotate Y, the element rotate around the y-axis. Positive values rotate the element clockwise around the x-axis, and negative values rotate it counterclockwise. You can also use turn instead of degrees. For example, Rotate one turn means the element rotates 360 degrees, or one full rotation. Rotate 0.5 turn means the element rotates 180 degrees, or half a rotation. Or rotate 0.25 turn means the element rotates 90 degrees, or a quarter rotation. Translate. The CSS Transform Translate property allows you to move an element from its original position along the X and Y axes. The values can be specified in units like pixels, percentages, or any other length units. There are essentially five different variants of the translate function. With the basic translate property, CSS also offers translate X, translate Y, and translate Z for more specific movements, as well as translate 3D for 3D transformations. When you use translate, the element moves along the x-axis by default. Positive values move the element to the right, while negative values move it to the left. When you use translate Y, the element moves along the y-axis. Positive values move the element down, while negative values move it up. When you use translate with two values, the first value specifies the movement along the x-axis, and the second value specifies the movement along the y-axis. Scale. The CSS Transform Scale property allows you to resize an element by scaling it along the x and y axes. It adjusts the element's size without changing its original position or layout flow. There are five main variants of the scale function, along with the basic scale property. When you use scale, the element changes size on both the x and y axes. Positive values increase the size, scale up. Values between 0 and 1 reduce the size, scale down. When you use scale x, the element is scaled horizontally along the x-axis. When you use scale y, the element is scaled vertically along the y-axis. When you use a scale with two values, the first value controls the horizontal, x-axis, scaling, and the second value controls the vertical, y-axis, scaling. Skew. The CSS Transform Skew property allows you to distort an element by skewing it along the X and Y axes. Skewing an element tilts it in one direction, creating a slanted effect. There are three main variants of the skew function. The basic skew property, skew X, and skew Y. Angles are specified in degree, radian, gradient, or turn. When you use skew, the element skews along both the X and Y axes, according to the specified angles. The first value controls the horizontal x-axis skewing, and the second value controls the vertical y-axis skewing. When you use skew x, the element is only skewed along the x-axis. Positive angles slant the element to the right, while negative angles slant it to the left. 
When you use skew Y, the element is only skewed along the Y axis. Positive angles slant the element downward, while negative angles slant it upward. Matrix. The CSS transform matrix property is a more advanced and comprehensive way to apply transformations to an element. It allows you to combine multiple transformations such as translation, scaling, skewing, and rotation into a single function using a matrix of six values. There are two main variants, matrix and matrix 3, D. For the matrix property, the order of transformations is scale X, skew Y, skew X, scale Y, translate X, and translate Y. Okay, let's go through and fill these in so you can see how using the transform matrix property allows us to apply multiple transformations to the same element. For scale X, let's say 2. These values need to be comma separated. For skew, we'll just set one for each. We'll set scale Y to 2 as well. Finally, let's move our element along the X axis by 70 pixels. Here, we don't need to specify the unit property, so we don't need to put PX for pixels. We simply specify the value. For translate Y, since we want to move the element up rather than down, let's move it down by negative 100 pixels. The next thing I want to talk about is the CSS transform property, which can combine multiple transformations in a single declaration, making your code cleaner and more efficient. By using translate, the element is moved 50 pixels to the right along the x-axis and 30 pixels down along the y-axis. By using rotate, the element is rotated 45 degrees clockwise. By using scale, the element is scaled up by 20% along both the x and y-axis. By using skew, the element is skewed 10 degrees along the x-axis and 15 degrees along the y-axis, creating a slanted effect. This is a really common way to use these properties. With modern CSS, we can combine rotations, scales, and translations easily.